My name is Dr. Omon Imohi. I am an NHS GP and the founder of Black Women in Health Network UK. There has been growing concerns about the disproportionate impact of coronavirus in the Black and ethnic minority groups. The causes, as we know, are multifactorial. However, most people of the Black and ethnic minority community are not aware of how to protect themselves. So we are speaking out to protect you. Most Black ethnic minorities are more likely to be walking around with an undiagnosed medical condition. When you turn 40, it is important to contact your GP for your NHS check. Now, this check will include a blood pressure, a weight and a height. The blood tests to include a cholesterol level, diabetes level, and even a kidney function level. And all this will be put together to determine the risk of you having a heart attack or a stroke in the future. If any of these risk factors are identified, you will be commenced on treatment immediately to reduce the overall risk. We have to change our health seeking behaviours. We need to be more health conscious and to make sure to get regular checkups starting now. It is important that we maintain a healthy physical and mental well-being at all times. By being physically active every day and exercising regularly at least two to three times a week. Speak to your doctor or a therapist if you have symptoms of low mood or any other mental health symptoms as any one of us could be affected. See your doctor if you have any new or any unusual symptoms in your body. Please do not treat or self-medicate yourself as that could be dangerous. It is imperative that your employer takes reasonable and prudent steps to protect your health, especially as a frontline worker. Your, your employer needs to be carrying out a risk assessment on you as appropriate, including if you're working from home. These also include pregnant healthcare workers. Think safety at all times. Your employer needs to be identifying likely hazards and available control measures to keep you healthy and safe. Think safety. Use your personal protective equipment as appropriate. Stay safe. Taking responsibility for your health, owning simple things like a you know, blood pressure measuring device, being intentional about what we eat, what we consume, engaging in physical activity, all this can significantly reduce the impact of severe COVID-19 and other medical conditions. Children can also have COVID-19 and while most of them will have quite mild symptoms and recover without a hitch, a very small number can become quite unwell. One thing to know is that children can present quite differently from adults, so they may not have the classic flu-like symptoms. They may have things like fever, mottled skin, diarrhea, or just be quite lethargic and generally unwell. So if you're worried about your little one, please contact your GP, NHS 111, or visit your local a and &E department. If you are pregnant, you're over 70, and or have any chronic health problems such as asthma, COPD, rheumatoid arthritis, chronic kidney disease, or chronic liver disease, you are also at risk. We've heard scary things about the coronavirus and being diabetic, but does that mean that you should despair? No. You can take some precautions to keep yourself safe. Take your medications regularly and make sure that you have a good supply to last you a long time if you have to self-quarantine at home. Make sure that you're checking your blood glucose levels and they're staying within acceptable ranges. At the first signs of any symptoms that you're unfamiliar with, contact your healthcare practitioner. Smoking is bad for your health. Passive smoking is when people smoke around you. When you smoke, you put your own health and the health of those who you smoke around at increased risk of certain conditions such as stroke, heart attack, different types of cancers, especially lung cancer. Smoking cessation services, also known as stop smoking services, are available all over the country. Vitamin D is very important for the functioning of our immune system. We get most of our vitamin D from the sunlight. However, the more melanin we have, the less you're able to absorb it from the sun. So it's no surprise that most of us will have inadequate levels of vitamin D. So during the winter months, make sure you take a supplement every day, or if you've been told that you are deficient in vitamin D, 
you need to take it every day. Self-care is an important part of everyday life. Now more than ever, we need to step up and take control of our health. You can manage minor illnesses and minor injuries at home and your local pharmacy will have healthcare essentials such as paracetamol, aspirin, indigestion remedies, plasters and thermometers. If you have a long-standing condition such as diabetes or asthma, your local pharmacist can help you to advise and manage your condition. Please do remember to continue taking your regular medication. There are plenty of information sources in this season. Be careful of information obtained via social media platforms because it can be unfounded and sometimes biased towards certain opinions. Only obtain information from reliable sources such as the NHS 111 and Public Health England. This is indeed a very tough time for every one of us and we value the sense of the community. The government is doing their best to completely ease the lockdown. Do your part. Remember, this is a collective responsibility. Update yourself regularly on NHS website and on public health guidelines on information about isolation, shielding and social distancing. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. And together, we would eradicate this virus. Stay safe. Thank you.